You may have heard of goals or New Year's resolutions, but you have you heard of choosing a word for the year, or for the month, or for any given period of time? For the past several years, I have been choosing a word to think about for the year. It has helped me come back to something that I want to focus on. For the year 2020, I picked the Portuguese word esperar. It is a mix of the English word hope and the English word for waiting. Throughout the year, I came back to this idea of esperar. It was something to think about and focus on. For the first project in this class series, I'm going to encourage you to think about a word. It can be a word that you would like to focus on during these art classes, or a word that you would like to focus on at home or at school. Some possible word choices could be love, learn, joy, laugh, or even thankful. As you are working on this project, you can think about the meaning of your word and why you chose it. If you want to choose it with the people that you live with, or if you would like to choose it on your own, that is okay. Once you pick a word, you can draw it out on your paper using pencil and color it in with the mediums of your choice. I chose to use watercolor and marker, but you can use anything that you have at home, from pencil to marker to colored pencil, or even watercolor. Here are some things to think about. Why did you choose your word? What do you hope to learn, or how do you hope to grow? Do you plan to share this word with your family and friends, or do you plan to keep it to yourself? Will you share this word with a teacher? Could you ask a teacher or someone in your home to help you come up with a word? Is your word in English, or did you pick another language that you speak? Think about these questions as you watch this video, and then start thinking about your word and get started. In mine, I chose to balance warm and cool colors. Warm colors are reds, oranges, and yellows, and cool colors are purples, blues, and greens. They are called contrasting colors or complementary colors, where they make each other really stand out. You can choose to use any color combination you would like. I chose to use complementary colors, but you could also choose monochromatic. Monochromatic means one color, mono meaning one and chroma meaning color. This would mean that you use all reds or all blues, all of one chroma or color. This lesson is just for fun. It's a bit of a warm up and a way to get your creative juices flowing. Enjoy it, have fun, and we will see you in the next class. Thank you.